Hey everybody, Brian Goulet here of GoulaPens.com, and today I got a pretty exciting video for you. These are some of my top fountain pen hacks to make your fountain pen experience as good as it can possibly be. Number one, I'm just gonna start it out the gate strong. This is my favorite all time fountain pen hack. It's not even gonna be a countdown. This is using a bulb syringe to clean out a cartridge converter pen. Now this is commonly known in my family as a boogie sucker, like you have your baby from the hospital or maybe an ear bulb syringe, but it's perfect for flushing out a cartridge converter pen. You just take off the grip, flush it from the back. It holds enough water to equal about 50 flushes with a converter in one single syringe. Saves time, saves your finger muscles, and it's kind of fun. Another one here is flipping the nib over when you're writing on cheap paper. This works really well in a pinch if you're writing on paper that's outside of your control, if the paper's too absorbent, or if you need to write in a tiny space, you just flip your nib over and write with it upside down to get one or two nib sizes smaller. Not all nibs are designed this way, and it may not be the smoothest writing experience, so your mileage may vary on this one. The next one is shaking down the ink through your pen. If the pen's failing to start and you know that you've inked it up, it could just be that you need to force some ink through the feed. So hold the pen high enough in your hand so that you know you're not gonna hit it on the table and then tap the heel of your hand on the table, forcing ink down through the pen. It's best to keep a piece of paper under your hand while you do this, because you might fling a little ink around and you definitely wanna be sure not to slam your nib down onto the table. Is your ink level getting low in your bottle or are you sick of having to wipe off your nib when you fill it? Well, you can bypass all of that if you have a cartridge converter pen and you pull the converter off and fill it directly from the bottle. Because you're not filling through the feed, it's gonna decrease your ink capacity just a little bit and you're gonna to wanna to force some ink down through once you reinstall it back onto the pen. But still, it's a pretty cool hack. Let's talk about ink a little bit. Sometimes you get a really saturated ink and it can have some hard time starting in your pen. Well, you can actually dilute deeply saturated inks to get it flowing smoother. I personally love deeply saturated inks, but they can be a little higher maintenance in the pen. So if you wanna make it a little easier on yourself, get it flowing smoother, you can dilute it with distilled water, maybe about 10%. You can go a little higher if you want to, but the more you dilute it, the more watery the ink is gonna look. So just play around with it and see what fits your liking. I still get asked all the time about what do you do when you're flying with your pens? How do you keep them from leaking? So when you're flying, especially when you're ascending, that's when the pressure changes the most. You wanna make sure that you don't have any air pocket in your ink chamber in your pen because that's what causes the ink to burp out of the pen. So what you wanna do is you either wanna have the pen completely full or completely empty, and then you will not have an air pocket in there to even worry about. If you want more details about how to do all this, check out this other video that we did on flying with pens. Demonstrator pens are awesome and I love them. I know you do too, but sometimes you can see a little too much of what's going on, especially inside your cap. If you have a demonstrator pen with a cap insert like the Twisby 580 or the Pilot Custom 74, ink can sometimes collect between the insert and the cap and it can drive you crazy. Just wrap a rubber band around the end of a pencil, insert it into the cap, and that friction will grab the insert and pull it out. You can then just swap it out, insert it back in there, and you're good to go. If you haven't used your pen for a little bit, but you know it's got plenty of ink, it may have just dried out a little bit. So you can actually take and you can dip it inside the bottle that you filled it from, or dip it in a cup of water, and that can help to get it flowing again. If you do end up dipping it in water, that's totally fine. It just might look a little watery. Once it gets going though, the ink will return back to its normal color. Sometimes you ink up a pen and it just doesn't look as dark as you want. Well, you can actually flood that feed and get a more intense color in your ink. There's two ways you can do this. You can dip it into the bottle of ink or you can flood it through the pen's filling system. This is also a great hack if you need to get your dry pen writing again. And to wrap it all up here, you can let out a couple of drips of ink when you're filling your pen. Fill up the pen all the way, then let out about two drops of ink and then suck in a little bit of air. This keeps the feed from being oversaturated and then dripping into your cap, especially if you carry the pen around with you. And this practice is actually recommended by most pen manufacturers. These have been some of my favorite fountain pen hacks that have made my experience better and I hope that you can learn from them. If you have any great suggestions of your own, be sure to leave them in the comments. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And you can check out a lot of the stuff we talked about here on GoulaPens.com. Thanks so much for watching and right on. I don't know that I'm ready. I don't know what's gonna come out of my mouth. <laughs> it's a shakedown. <laughs> well, you dum dum, you doofus, dingleberry. Numero cuatro. 
this next cat can. <laughs> <laughs> Let that thing ride! You're like cringing. And Colin can put it in there. Check out more. Right here. Right here. Right here. Just right over my face. Check out this video over here. Just get up in there. Clean that out. Next! 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 <laughs> Chilling so hard right now. Oh I'm in the zone. Alright. <laughs> Whatever that means. Oh, the pen! <laughs> you just got hacked! <laughs> yeah, hands. At the company meeting, you should have used Smearing jazz hand. It's my, my show choir days. Starburst! <laughs>